Mercedes Benz E350. Rear brake pads. I removed the cover off my reservoir, driver's side, so I can wash the fluid. 17 millimeter, takes off your lug nuts. Get your car in the air, get your jack stand. This spring, you can just use a pry bar. Go against the hub here of the rotor. Pop that out. Now in the rear, I started to remove the caps already. Cap here. Take it out. There's one at the bottom. Goes right there. I took it out already. So two caps. Now inside those holes. You guys can see there's a seven millimeter allen key. Seven millimeter. Now you just break them loose with a ratchet. And I can use my battery ratchet. Take it out. And you can see you want that to come out. Same thing with the bottom. The pins come out. You get both of those loose. You can take your screwdriver, put it inside here, and you can start to compress your piston so it'll be easier to get your caliper off. You can also go right here, compress it all the way as far as you can go. All right, once those are both loose and those pins are back. And you've pushed in your caliper as far as it can go. Just be able to remove it just like that. Now you want to take out your old brake pads. You're going to need to unplug your wear sensor. Sometimes it's difficult. It just pops out like that. And you pull your, pull your pad out. And now we're going to make sure that piston's all the way in using a C-clamp. Let's do that now. Alright, so that's the C-clamp setup. And you just turn and your piston will go in. Get it all the way in. Alright, piston's all the way compressed. Now you want to install your new brake pad. This one goes on the outside. Here's your wear sensor. This piece here is going to go into your pad. Alright, so I pushed it in. Basically, there's a hole in the top of your pad like that. And it slides in like this. Now you route this piece here to the top of your caliper where you plug it back in. And you push this clip into your caliper. I like to bend this a little. Easier to get it in. Right, so basically it's like that. There's the top of your sensor. You plug it in the end. Grease your pins. Make sure they're all the way back so it doesn't stop you when you go to install your caliper. Basically, caliper goes in like that. And line back up your two number sevens with the holes. Alright, so you want to make sure that sensor line is not under your Allen key. So now I just tighten them a little by hand, top and bottom. Alright, so once you get your Allen keys good and tight, you can pop your caps back in. Just like that. Same thing for the bottom. Alright, caps back in. Some of these pads come with a new clip, but this one didn't. You just want to reinstall your clip. Basically, it's just like this. Kind of hard to do it one hand, but you get these hooks in. You need to force it over. All right, so once you get it like that, you can just push that in. And your clip is on. Just like that. Now you take your sensor. These two notches. And line up with those two holes so you plug it in just like that until you feel it going. So 
This is in. The brake pad. Clip is on. It's the E350 rear brake pad replacement. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, comment, hit that like button. See you next time.